Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's can't crack the coat. Used to sip out style pump, but figured I should stick to drunk. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Luffy Malik here, and in this video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can transfer black market camos from one gun to another gun in Black Ops 3. So as you guys can see right now, I'm going to be showing you guys my assault rifles, which I do not have the diamond camo on, and I have the diamond camos on my SMGs only. So as you guys can see on my HVK, I only have some of the camos unlocked, and I still have the diamond camo, which I transferred from my SMGs. As you guys can see, I have the uh, diamond VMP right now. So in order to get this started, all you guys want to do is head over to the multiplayer, press start, head over, head over to the gunsmith, and you guys want to pick the gun that you guys want the diamond camo on. Once you guys have the gun that you guys want, all you guys want to do is just create a variant for that gun and just save it. Make sure that nothing's on that uh, variant, nothing, no camo or anything. Once on that, all you guys want to do is make like 10 to 15 copies of that gun. So just keep on pressing start on it and keep, uh, click on, uh, keep on clicking copy on it so you guys can duplicate that variant. Once done that, all you guys want to do is head over back to the gun that has the camo that you guys want. You guys can do it with the multiplayer camo or the black market camos. Once done that, you guys want to press on that variant with the camo on it, go to media manager, and as you guys can see, I have the four Shibas lined up, and if they aren't lined up, like there's one the, one Shibas on the top, then there's a can, and then there's a Shiba at the bottom, make sure that's not, that's not the way that it's going to be happening. Make sure that the both of the Shibas are together. I know this sounds confusing, but make sure that there's one Shiba on top and one Shiba on bottom. After that, press A on it, it should say you want to delete this variant. Press A on it, delete delete it, press O again, click on the variant, and it should say that it's Toshiba, but it's actually the coolest picture. This is a really confusing glitch, and um, I did do this a lot, so you guys can keep on doing this glitch with other weapons. I'm going to be doing this with the uh, Dingo right now, and I created like 10 to 15 variants, because this time, I couldn't get them lined up, because I don't know why it wasn't working, and this... Sometimes when they are lined up, one's on top, one's on bottom, and when you delete the variant, it should just go to a different gun. It won't be the dingo. So just keep on trying it over and over again. As you guys can see, I made like eight copies of that gun. Went over to my uh, VMP or my VMP, had the diamond camo on it, press start, go to media manager, check if they're lined up. If they aren't lined up, go back to the dingo and or whatever gun that you guys are using, and you guys can uh, create more, copy more uh, variants of that gun. As you guys can see, I'm going back, and this is not only for the multiplayer camos. You guys can go back to the uh, black market camos, like the gem camo, the monochrome camo, or anything like that. So at this time, I think it worked. Press start, go to media manager, scroll all the way down, see if they're lined up or not. And if they are lined up, uh, which I'll show you guys right now, there's one on top, one at bottom. Press A on the top one, click on delete, press O, click on that. And then if it doesn't work keep on trying again now really confusing type of glitch but you guys should uh, master it I, I know how to do it now because I've been doing this glitch a lot so I hope you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new for the awesomeness GTA 5 and Call of Duty content so yeah guys this has been Luke Malik and I'll see you guys in the next video peace thanks for watching